What's up YouTube? This is Bullseye8231 and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the bulb in your General Electric or GE dryer. Um, this is super quick, super easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your dryer and locate your bulb. Your bulb is actually going to be up under here. Um, if you can see that. The bulb is right here. Um, so I'm just going to reach in here and I'm going to start to unscrew it. The bulb automatically comes on. The light automatically comes on when you open the dryer. And so uh, just keep in mind you're backwards. So righty tighty lefty loosey, but you're backwards with that. Um, so I just got some new bulbs from Home Depot. Um, so this is actually a 10 watt bulb that is in the dryer. Um, you can look on the bulb itself it tells you the numbers um the thread type is a e12 so this is a e12 thread type 10 watt bulb now home depot was out of the 10 watts um so they only had six watts so i went ahead and grabbed a six watt um just because i want to make sure and get this changed uh in my dryer um they may also have a led retrofit for this so if you want to upgrade the led to an led you could you just got to make sure it's an e12 if the camera will focus um an e12 thread uh for the bulb so basically i'm just going to take this bad boy out and i'm going to reach into my dryer Hopefully you can see this. And you got to do a lot of this by feel. Um, but then I'm just going to reach in there and begin to twist it. And as you can see, the bulb has come on. And now I have light inside of my dryer. Now, the you, there is a little bit of a differentiation from the 10 watt to the 6 watt, but as you can see, it's pretty bright in there, and it's really not necessary for the dryer to be super bright inside once the, because once you close the door, the light turns off. So uh, anyway, that is how you change the bulb on a general electric dryer. I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below.